Hi everyone, Brandy here from Artisan Bee Boutique. Coming on today to share with you a brand new fall paper bag scrapbook album that I just finished. This one came out really cute. Um, I had these cool uh, printed paper bags that I bought at Hobby Lobby years ago. I've had them in my stash for years. Um, I bought them with the intention of making albums out of them for fall and I just never really did anything with them. So I had a stack of them and I decided to put together a quick little um, album here. And I just wanted to come and show you guys what it looks like. It's very light. This one's very lightweight. Um, I don't know how, I guess, I guess compared to my other ones, I think um, this one has less, a uh, little bit less paper content because the, the pages, uh, the paper bags themselves were already printed. So it had a nice print on it and I didn't want to cover that all up on every page. So a little bit less paper um, as uh, compared to what I normally have to put in my other scrapbooks like this. Um, so we're just going to take a look at this today and before I open it up I'm just going to show you like the overall view of it. These here are just um, pullouts that you'll see in a little bit here. Okay so I just did a little um, basic ribbon tie closure for this one. Um, just a pretty coordinating pattern there and uh, I put a little um, hole that it slides through in the front there with a I guess you would call that like an antiqued brass or bronze I'm not sure um, grommet there and then I did some uh, matching book corners my lighting is kind of weird today I've got um, a lot of shadows here sorry about that um, anyway so these are the uh, if you can if the camera's picking them up well but these are the matching or the coordinating book corners that just gives it a nice finish and protects the corners there and that just slides all the way out. This is a wood, like a, I guess a wood cutout. I got those um, from Hobby Lobby also on, uh, in their fall decor section, this as well. It's like a paper sunflower. And then I did some trim here and burlap, uh, burlap paper spine on that. This is what it looks like when it's open. Let me zoom out a little bit here. Okay. This one measures about six inches long, or tall, I guess I should say, by five and a half inches this way. Okay, so. This is the front page here, and the front page is a pocket from the bags. So you've got a pocket with a full-size pull-out page in it. I finished both sides, so you have um, spaces to put your photos. You can journal on it, and however you however you like to use it. This is a fabric um, ribbon, uh, like a burlap ribbon that I cut in half and then I did both sides. I put it on both sides here. So you've got, it's kind of like, a, I, I would call it a pull. So I don't know if you can see it in the in the camera, but the, the edge of the, the frame comes to about right there. So that this up here, you know, if this folds or gets bent when you put the tie closure on, it's not gonna hurt it because it's, it's just fabric. So that's, and that's on the, um, all three of the pullout, the pullout pages. Like I said, there was three of those. Okay, so the first pages we've got here, I did some lace and, and different trims, fabric trims throughout. These um, photo frames or photo mats that are adhered are the perfect size to crop a four by four or uh, Instagram size photo too. And I, it, here you can see um, the reason why I didn't want, did not want to cover up the paper bags because they have such a cool just fall print on them. I didn't want to cover that up. I wanted that to be like the, the background of the pages. And I'll pull these out so you can see what that looks like. So that's that's the actual, like what that looks like. So I didn't want to cover that up. And I just made a little pocket here with some pullout tags. I left the back blank so you can use that for journaling or another photo if you like. And also this is kind of a slide here so you could also tuck something under there as well. 
tuck spot. Okay, so that's the first two pages. And again, I'm, I apologize for the shadows here. My lighting is kind of wonky today. And the next ones. Now this pocket here is made from the um, flap of the, the paper bag. A little frame there that can be written on or cropped photo. And then another pullout tag here. And these are my um, distressed paper clips with little fabric pulls on them. And you can just take those out and, move and use them throughout the journal or the um, photo album as you wish, scrapbook. More fabric trims there. Another full size pull out in this, this pocket. And I did some, uh, or put some cardstock inside the pockets for uh, just to give it a little bit of extra sturdiness there. Oh, the uh, pullouts are with the ribbon about six by five and a half, but they're about five and a half by five and a half, um, the cardstock part. And some more photo frames with some torn ribbon or torn uh, fabric there. It's a stapled binding, as you can see. The outside of the binding, obviously, like we said before, is covered in burlap. Pull out tag and another, uh, this one is glued on and another uh, clip there for you. These are removable because the top is open here. That way you can tuck more things inside. And just another photo mat there with some more ribbon trim or fabric trim and two more pullouts here. And I did a mix of um, scrapbook papers that I've had uh, some some are newer, some are older, some I've had for years. So it's a, you'll you'll find kind of an eclectic mix of different patterns of um, scrapbooking paper throughout this one, which I like that look. I don't think everything always has to be matchy matchy all the time. Here's the last um, full size pullout page. And these are just, these are great because you can just store so much inside here. They're just perfect for extra notes and photos and things. And uh, there are no, you'll see that there aren't any like word stickers and all that kind of stuff throughout this, um, you know, because you should be able to, you know, you should be able to add your own like um, sentiments and stuff. So you can, you know, use spaces like this to maybe add uh, a word or just uh, something that you journal right here that you want to say. And the last two pages. Another pull-out tag here. Oops. And nice ribbon trim here as well. Photo corners, uh, metal photo corners on the back. Just give it a nice finished look. It's a pretty straight to the point. You know, straightforward, straight to the point, little little scrapbook, and um, it would just make a really cool, you know, addition to your fall um, decor. It looks great, just to kind of you know displayed on an end table or a mantle. And uh, when you're finished with it, you just take your pretty ribbon here and just loop it through the little hole, and tie it up. Again, it's okay if these bend because it's just fabric, so there's not gonna it's not gonna hurt them. These are fabric. I try not to tie it, tie it too tight just to not alter the look of the um, the little kind of lace, you know, trim coming out the side there. And you could either have the bow, you know, right on the front or on the spine, wherever you want that to, to set, to rest. Nice and simple. And there you have it. Just a nice little, a nice little um, fall, simple, 
fall um, autumn themed paper bag scrapbook album handmade and this one will be available for purchase in my Macari shop I have not photographed it yet so I still need to do that today so I'm hoping to have it listed by tonight by this evening if you want to click the link in my on my channel you can go and take a look at everything else that I have available um, a lot of the journals have sold but there are Christmas um, available and I've been doing um, writing boards for your journals so I have uh, those available as well and I'll be I'll be adding more of those to my shop um, they seem to be pretty popular so far um, so I'll be adding more of those I've got some that are not finished yet that I'm getting ready to work on today um, here's one that just to give you an idea of what I mean by writing board this one is one that I'm finished with that I'm probably going to go ahead and list and it's just a board. Um, if you don't know what a writing board is, they're just really neat. Um, I use recycled material to make these. Um, I use basically uh, chipboard from, could be cracker, empty cracker boxes, cereal boxes, any other, you know, uh, food container, pasta box, things like that. Instead of throwing it away, I use it and create these writing boards with it. So this one measures six by six and a half. And what you do is, it can just, you know, uh, tuck in, you know, it, well, it wouldn't be for this one. This is more for junk journals, but I'm just showing you what they look like. Um, this is just one idea of what I'm talking about. Um, but you can just basically tuck it in somewhere inside your journal. And when you're ready to write in your journal, you're going to flip it over, use the, the smooth side. And this gives you a um, nice, sturdy writing surface because, you know, junk journals can be bumpy there's a lot of a lot of decorative and and interactive elements in a journal so you have uh having a nice board to write on when you're ready to just write you just slip it under the page and you have that nice smooth surface to write on this whole thing is sealed the way i made this was um the uh, the chipboard is glued together so it's sturdy so there's multiple pieces glued together and when that's dried i covered everything in scrapbook paper front and back and uh, even the edges are covered. As you can see, it's very well put together. It's got little corner protectors, metal corner protectors, and it gives it a beautiful accent, but also protects the corners from, you know, in case you drop it so they won't get, you know, dinged up. And then I did a little uh, word sticker down here. The owl, the paper uh, that I used, the owl was, was uh, already had like this sparkly shimmer to him. And I sealed the whole piece with uh, Mod Podge paper. Uh, my podge paper is kind of more of a matte finish and doesn't make it look so it doesn't make it look so um shiny i didn't want like a really shiny look so if you can see it's kind of it's got a little tiny bit of a shine to it but it's not like super shiny like some mod podges um this part here i used the mod podge glitter on to keep his just pretty sparkly you know the sparkly shimmery look about him so anyway that's what a book board is or a writing board is and in case you haven't seen one before that's what that is and I'm going to be listing more of those in my shop back to the the point was is that I have some available for purchase um, Christmas theme and otherwise and those are uh, proving to be popular so far so I'm going to keep on um, listing them as long as they are wanted um, yeah so that's it for this one today um, I have another Christmas uh, paper bag album done and already listed in my shop. I'm going to make a video of. I just didn't have a chance to do that one yet. Um, I'm going to make a video of that one and post that on here today as well, I think. Uh, but yeah, that's it for this one. So happy fall. This is a brand new scrapbook that will be available hopefully by the end of the, t the night tonight in my Macari shop. So again, click the link in my channel. Um, if you 